Welcome to Storytime. I'm Mrs. H. Today we're going to read a story called The Lost Sheep. In our story, the little sheep escapes from his pen and he gets lost. We'll find out in the story what's going to happen. Is the shepherd going to rescue him? Before we listen, let's get our wiggles out. I wiggle my fingers and I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders and I wiggle my nose. Now there's no more wiggles left in me, so I'll sit as quiet as quiet can be. Before we read our story, in the story today, you're going to hear a word that you may not know. It's the word style, S-T-I-L-E, style. Do you know what a style is? Not the kind of style like the clothes you wear. This is a style with an I. A style is kind of like a gate it's meant to keep animals inside their pen to keep them from getting out where they might get lost. It has up and down bars that are very close together so that a person can still get through to go in and take care of the animals, but that the animals can't get out and get lost. In other words, a style is meant to keep the animals safe. Listen for that word in our story today. Here we go. The Lost Sheep, written by Bethan Lysett illustrated by Hannah Stout. The Lost Sheep. This is a story that Jesus told of a little sheep who went out from the fold. The gate was left open wide one day and into the lane little sheep went to play. The shepherd had told of the danger outside, but little sheep thought that he probably lied. So slowly the little sheep went down the track, and at the end of the lane he never looked back. The orchard had apples and pears on the trees, and butterflies danced on the cool summer breeze. Little sheep had been gone from the fold quite a while, and ran right ahead when he saw a big stile. Over and under he tried to go through, but something so simple was quite hard to do. He finally got through with a push and a squeeze and continued his journey on into the trees. Little sheep went through the trees till he heard a wolf start to howl and he got very scared. He should have listened to what Shepherd had said and wished he was back in the fold safe in bed. He tried to run home through the trees, but he found he was lost and he fell in a hole in the ground. He couldn't climb out as the hole was too deep for those with short legs like the lost little sheep. Back in the field, Shepherd started to count. One hundred sheep should have been the amount, but counting to ninety-nine, the shepherd did see one less of his precious sheep there should be. He started to count all the sheep once again, the twins' little black one, the one that was lame. Looking around, he noticed the gate, and new little sheep must have made an escape. He started to search high and low on the lane, hoping to find little sheep once again. He went through the orchard and over the stile, all the time looking for the sheep's smile. Sheep was so scared what the shepherd would say, knowing the trouble he'd brought his own way. But hearing the shepherd calling for him, a baa escaped that he couldn't keep in. Shepherd was happy to see his sheep there and helped him right out with no time to spare. Sheep was so tired he fell straight to sleep and dreamed of his field and the 99 sheep. But Wolf had missed out on catching his dinner and settled for fish and chips to stop getting thinner. The little sheep had become lost when he went his own way and didn't stay safe where the shepherd had said it was safe. Just like the little sheep in this story, we have all gone our own way and strayed from the good shepherd, God. He doesn't want any of us to remain lost, and he loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to find us. Jesus went to the cross to take the punishment for the wrong things we have done. And if we trust in him, one day he will take us back with him to his fold, heaven. John chapter 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep.
I love the story of the lost sheep. I especially love the rhyming in it. Did the story sound a little familiar to you? If so, that's because this story actually was first told by Jesus over 2,000 years ago. It's a story from the Bible. It was written in the Bible so that we could learn about Jesus being our Good Shepherd. And it was written in this fun storybook to remind us again of something that Jesus teaches us. I'm going to look through the book again, and I remember there were four words that were very important in the story. In fact, they were written very big. You might not have been able to see them. One is the word lane, lane. One was the word orchard. One was the word style, the word I told you to listen for. And one was the word trees. Hmm. Lane, orchard, style, trees. Can you help me figure out why those words were written larger on the page? Hmm, let me think. Hmm, they don't sound alike. They don't rhyme. They don't start with the same letter. But let's see, what letter do they start with? Lane starts with L, Orchard starts with O, Style starts with S, and Trees start with T. L, O, S, T. Do you know what that spells? L, O, S, T spells lost. Why do you think the author chose those words? I think she highlighted those words because it's about the lost sheep. And do you know what? The lost sheep reminds us that we are just like the lost sheep. You and I are lost. We've wandered away from God just like the sheep wandered away from the shepherd. In fact, every time we sin, it's like we've wandered out of God's safe place. Just like the style keeps the sheep in the pen, or is supposed to keep the sheep in the pen, God's word and the rules, the commandments that he gives us in his word are meant to keep us safe, meant to keep us in his will. But just like the sheep, we wander off every time we sin. That means we're lost. We're lost from God. And just like the shepherd left the 99 sheep to go and find his one lost sheep, Jesus left heaven to come to earth, to die on a cross, to come and save, to find us, his lost sheep. What an amazing thing that God loves you and loves me so much that he left heaven, that Jesus left heaven to come and rescue us because we are lost. You know what? I'm going to suggest that your family take some time this week and read this story out of the Bible. It's actually found in Matthew. I've put it on the newsletter. Your family can look it up and read it from God's Word together. And then let's memorize the verse that was at the end of the story. Do you remember what it was? It came from John chapter 12, verse 11. And it says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Do you know who the I is? It's Jesus. Jesus is our good shepherd. He laid down his life for us, his sheep, because we're the lost sheep. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you that Jesus came to this earth to search for his lost sheep. Thank you that he laid down his life to save us from our sin. Lord, help us to remember that the commandments you give to us are meant to keep us safe in your will. Help us to obey you and to stay inside the pen where you put us, Lord, because that's a good and safe place to be. Thank you that you love us and are willing to rescue us from our lostness. It's in your name we pray. Amen. See you next time for Storytime.